You test it. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Denise Glasscock, and I work for Accenture. I want to talk to you this evening about uh, orchestration, where we have taken technology and business and shown a unique way to blend them. What I want to do is, is give you a quick overview as to how we approach our business to technology run. And what we're going to do is talk to you a little bit about how we take the, the, the need for time and flexibility, drive that into a solution that provides traditional uh, capabilities our clients need, but push those into tomorrow's needs as, as to being able to bring transformational growth to our clients. On top of that, we actually look for the ability to do where we can adopt. And what we do is we look for the abilities to drive out what we normally would see as disruption. We take that disruption and we actually turn it into something that's, that's bountiful. And by that, what we do is we look at the, the, the way that we can drive intelligence. Each time we talk to a client, we actually show that client how we can build in interactive capabilities, not only at the, at the back end of the platform, but at the front end of the platform, we also drive in the capability of what we call preemptive operations. That's where we also look at, look at the ability to keep things liquid. We drive the in information of our, of our clients and our systems to keep things as fluid as possible. We also bring out the economies of platform. Depending upon what the client's rules and needs are, we can actually uh, move to any platform on any, on any uh, cloud. The other things that we do is we provide predictable operations. And then we actually, finally, at the end of it all, we drive trust, and that trust is driven through the point of we, we can actually create uh, information around what's compliant, what's not compliant, where security layers are there, and we can do that all within uh, one, one platform. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this one. Maybe it's gotten hung, I think. Okay, it's working. Okay, one second. Mm -hmm. What was that? No close to the problem. Ah. Not responding. Uh, who is? Who is here? It's the, the first one. Uh, sorry. Yes. Uh. The open stack launch.
You ready? You ready? Okay, let's let's cue this one more time. <laughs> um, so we're, I'm just going to jump ahead here real quick. So real quick, as a platform, the uh, the features that we offer are we bring in a dynamic disruptive platform that brings back in control. And as that control comes through, what we do is we look at for the economies across the platforms, across the clouds, across legacy as well. So we don't care what kind of technology it is, what kind of cloud it is, or what kind of platform it is, we're able to actually interpret that through the APIs. The other things that we do is we look at this as not as a tool, but as a true platform. So the idea of this thing is to bring a holistic feature in, in, into your data center. The, guy, the, 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 the goal behind this is to unlock all of these components to drive the open, open scalability, to drive open standards, to bring out what the enterprise grade technologies need for data center technologies. The other things that we drive in is, is we take that policy driven environment that you're used to and we bring in the, the things around where the business policies, how do, we pre, how do we create preemptive policy? And do we do that by, do, by doing real time uh, machine driven learning? And over the, over the period of time, what happens is the systems begin to learn how the controls or are, are, are ne the necessary needs are, and then the system is actually driven from that, so it becomes more intelligent. The other things that it does is it drives enterprise-grade security. So we're bringing down all the way from top to bottom, across the clouds, across the legacy. We're pushing out compliance, and we're pushing out security. And the last thing that we do is we offer a single dashboard. So we take everything and we abstract that. And the reason that we abstract it is depending upon the skills in the environment or the skills that you have in any, any given uh, data center, that person may not care about what's under the covers or they may not need to know that information. So we created personas. And as we did that, we came up with this idea about moving to DevOps. And what we've done is, is we've created this, this idea of taking the DevOps into the IaaS to PaaS. And what we've done is this, this ability to drive continuous delivery at the orchestration layer brings on a holistic view. The other things that we've done is we've, we've taught our clients how to and what it means to be software driven. Now we're actually requiring our clients to understand what the software is telling you. And beh behind that becomes a series of recommendations. Those recommendations provide control and, and they give you that constant information. The last thing that we do is we create an automation of, of software release. That automation provides consistent templates, uploads, and information around what, what the systems are doing. The other thing that we do is we bring in what's called cloud native. What we want to do here is, again, single point of control across the platform. It's important to create principles of gui uh, guiding principles, and these principles are actually driven throughout our platform. We've, do, we've gone to create this idea of rapid assembly. This drives the, the ability to reuse frameworks quickly. We can use the idea of a 70-30 rule. So for everything that we build, we build 70% towards. The 30% is the customization. The other things that we do is we break things down into the smallest building block possible. What that means is, is it's lightweight. Lightweight architectures are much easier and much, much, much more um, mature than what we are doing today in monolithic architectures, those are hard to support. The other things that we've done is we've created this idea of DevOps and automation. We've integrated the entire platform. The platform consists of a stack. And as you look at this next slide set, you'll see that the stack has several different layers to it. But because of the way that we built it, it feels like one integrated stack. The other thing is, is that we've created, a, we, we brought in a, a, a partner called Turbonomics. Turbonomics is now our decision engine. That decision engine allows us to drive the data analytics for operations. That operations gives you the information that you need to continuously update what's going on in your environment. There's a consistent change that happens throughout the machine environments. And what we want to do is we want to learn from the network, from the, from, the, from the core compute, and from the storage utilization. We also want to understand what fails and what, what, it, what succeeds. The other things that you guys can do with this is it allows you to do a source to target. So built into the platform is cloud migration. So the cool thing about this is, is that we're actually showing you the ability from day one to look at what your present state is, recommend and provide you inventory information and analysis against the environment, provide you an output that goes into the next stage of where your target would be, give you information on, on information about um, where should I intelligently place this, how I should optimize my controls, 
what kinds of things are in compliance or out of compliance, what kinds of things do I need to, need to interrogate further, and then what things actually should go from one platform to another or not be touched at all. So we actually look for blue, black, and green fields. The other things that we do is we deliver thought leadership by, by, by providing any platform. The platform itself. So this is the cool part, right? So that, now you're getting into what's under the, under the covers. What we do is everything's built on OpenStack. So OpenStack becomes the, the core infrastructure that we drive. Under that, we can, we can choose any virtualization platform or any cloud platform. And what that does is it allows us to choose how we can best implement for our clients. The user comes in at the, at the user interface in the black box. The custom UI is presented depending upon their persona. That persona then drives into what's in the, in, in the, in the actual orchestration engine. That engine is, is built out of several key things. It, it provides us information on the workload. It provides us provisioning and change management. It actually allows us to integrate into things like BMC or ServiceNow or any of the, any of the ticket services. It also provides us playbooks and things that we can do for full automation. The last thing that we do is we put in Brocade as part of our network orchestration. So as part as make, making this a full platform, our ability to orchestrate our networks, and on, on that, we actually integrate things like StackStorm and other, the, other parts of their components that actually drive us more information around what is going on in the network layer. We can actually understand what's going on at any given point in time and actually react to that as a preemptive uh, environment. Again, the cool thing behind all of this is, is that we don't care what the platform is. We also have this thing in, within Accenture called a, uh, a blueprint. And what we do is all of our platforms align to a basic framework. So all of the architectures that we build actually go back to that basic framework. The goal here is, is that what we've done is we've aligned from a top to bottom what those key components are. Now, built into this is a lot more of, of the actual inter interfaces and the, in, in the integration that needs to go with it. But the idea is, is that it, it completes the entire operational elements of, of, a, of a data center. The last thing that we want to talk about really is, is being able to drive this journey, right? And, and the goal that we're having is, is that we want to support wherever a client is in a journey, right? You may find that private, private clouds are where your client wants to be, that they're what, they're what the things are that you need to worry about, they're the catalogs, they're, that, they're how you consume IT, they're, they're the way that you fulfill your environment, right? There's also, as, as you move towards industrial IT, you become more containerized, you become more industrialized in how you deal with your daily processes. Those methodologies become repeatable, right? We also become this idea of this predictability. So you've done it so many times, the systems and the software understands what to do next. Again, the nice thing about this is that, is that we actually bring across, oops, sorry. We actually bring across what's, what's known as um, uh, the, uh, the, in, the intelligent orchestration platform. It actually drives that, that capability. The other thing that we do is we execute. And how do you execute? You start with the very beginnings. The easiest thing you do is to do rapid discovery. That discovery tells you information about what's in those systems. We actually do an, an analytic analysis and we actually come back with information that you can do day one. So first thing we can do in the first few hours is we can take actions that make a difference today. That becomes economy of scale immediately. The next thing we do is we look for identification of possible risk areas and we look for how we can optimize. Again, those things save you money immediately. The other thing that we do is we actually look for a, where, ways that we can optimize. And by optimizing, it gives us control. And that control provides information, again, around where am I compliant, where, am I, where my versioning differences are, what kind of environment am I, am I looking at, and, and how I can move forward to the next stages. It's the rationalizations that we need in order to keep moving ahead. The, the convergence idea is, think of it as consolidation. That's being able to build in programmatic, so, programmatic solutions, and this allows us to adopt standardization. That, that idea of convergence allows us to take the most benefit from all of the work that's happened above this. The transformation stage of it, that's truly where we do the migrations, right? That's where we start to move from point A to point B. And that's also where we get to where day two operations begins. So once, once you get to the transformation, day two begins, and what's on day two? Day two is the run state. And once we get to a run state, that all over it happens again. So we're looking for things where we can continually optimize, 
and continually look for intelligent placement. Finally, the last things that we do is we talk about the cornerstone of, of, of data center and cloud computing is orchestration. So the, just to leave you with a few notes, the orchestrator allows you and, and, and enables the success of your environment. Without methodology and orchestration behind that, you have nothing but, but a lot of machinery information. So what, I, what I'm trying to get to is, is that cloud management is orchestration. The other things that we do is we decompose the processes. So start with square one. There's going to be a lot of questions, a lot of points of view. What you want to do is break those down into small pieces, and then, and then you can build it back up again. The other thing that you can do is step back and look at the broader technology. Look at what you're trying to, uh, uh, trying to achieve. The establishment of taking down manual frameworks, manual tasks, and building those into automation and integration is where, where you can actually begin to win quickly at. And I'll stop there. So that's, that's the end of this. So I want to make it real quick for you guys. Do we have any questions? OK. <laughs> OK, well, thank you. <laughs>